Hello again. I hope this is a good day for you so far that you're finding positive and life-giving things to do and enjoying the opportunities that this day is giving, even though it's in a different uh, style, perhaps a different format than what we um, have on a when, when life is usual. When we're not uh, uh, staying home due to the virus and the spread of the COVID-19 virus. And today I was thinking about opportunity and I thought perhaps we could pray into that based on the good news that we have in God's word. Uh, in Ephesians 5 verses 15 and 16, we're told, so be careful how you act. These are difficult days. Don't be fools, be wise. Make the most of every opportunity you have for doing good. And in Colossians 4, verse 5, it echoes that. It says, make the most of your chances to tell others the good news. Be wise in all your contacts with them. And just as uh, the spread uh, uh, escalated quickly um, and, and, and things happened much more quickly, I think, than many of us thought they might, so the, the Bible warns us and, and invites us to think about using today uh, well, in John 9, 4, Jesus said, all of us must quickly carry out the tasks assigned by the one who sent me. For there's little time left before the night falls and all work comes to an end. Who would have thought just a week or two ago that uh, we would be where we're at today with so much of the world's population at home and uh, finding new rhythms and new ways of um, making good use of the 24 hours that God has given us. So let's, um, I'd like us to pray today for good use of opportunities that this day gives us because God promises that every day is a day that he's made for us to rejoice and be glad in. That's what I want to live in today and I pray that you do as well. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for another day. We thank you that you've called us today. You've given us life and breath to uh, participate in this day. You've given us opportunities to do good in this day. Lord, they may look different and they may be in different places and different ways than what previously was the normal uh, routine of our time. But Lord, in this day, you are with us and you are wanting to use us so that many people are blessed and so that good things take place for your kingdom's sake and for the lifting up and the encouraging and the blessing and the carrying forward of uh, many people today. So God, even as uh, your word instructed us, I pray today that we would be careful to use this time well. God, I pray that we wouldn't just sit on the sidelines and just let the days pass by, but I ask that you would show us all how to be creative in the way that we express love and grace and care for those that are near and those who are distant. I pray, God, that you would help us to make the most of this opportunity. Lord, I think there are new opportunities, new possibilities in these days that we've not had before. And I pray you'd help us think about them and use them and, and, and really take this time to connect with you and with one another in ways that um, take us forward even stronger, even better, even more conscious of your presence and your grace uh, in the future than what we have been in the past. Lord, in some ways, it seems to me that a lot of the, the clutter and the distractions get taken away from us. And we recognize some of our vulnerabilities. We recognize perhaps even some of the things that we depend on that uh, we don't have. And, and, and now, Lord, we are reminded that our hope and our life and everything that we need comes from you. And so I pray, God, in these days that we will be wise, that we will carry out the things that you've given us to do. Lord, in our families, with our friends, with those who are vulnerable in the community. Lord, we're not quite sure how to reach out to some of them in certain ways at this time, but you will show us, Lord, what to do so that we can be there for one another in ways that use the gifts that you've given us, that spread the kindness and the respect and the care that you raise up in our hearts for one another. And Lord, through it all today, I ask that we would be even more conscious of you, of your love, of your encouragement, of your comfort, 
Lord, I pray that we would be more stabilized in the truth that you never change. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we can rely on that today, even while the times and the circumstances around us are changing quite rapidly each day. So Lord, we invite you to come close to us. We're going to come close to you. We thank you for your kindness surrounding us, strengthening us, and lifting us up. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, have a great day. Uh, I don't know what uh, things you'll be about, but I'm sure that uh, it'll be good. Have a wonderful day.